Hi friends, here is another problem of evaluating limit of the trigonometric function. Uh, the question is here, yeah, limit, when x tends to y, find the uh, limit when, you know, we have to find out the limit of tan x minus tan y divided by x minus y, right? So again, again I am repeating, before solving this, we need to convert this again into the standard form, right? And our standard form is, uh, sorry, <laughs> limit when x tends to 0 sin x upon x equals to 1 this is the first standard form generally we convert but uh, there are in cos form also and tan form also right but we generally uh, to convert everything is into this form right so now how to convert this 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 expression this into sin x upon x not exactly x here angle may be anything right but we have to convert it by anything so simply as usual uh, we used to do in the trigonometric function also trigonometric chapter that convert the tan into always and always into the sine and cos it will makes you easier right so again i am doing the same thing uh, to make it easier right uh, i am doing the same right uh, means converting this tan into the sine and cos limit when x tends to y right tan x is we know that is ratio of sine x and cos x again minus sorry it's not good uh, yeah so sine y upon cos y whole divided by x minus y right so again I'm writing here limit when x tends to y right it will be now sine x times this cos y minus again sine y times this cos x whole divided by cos x times cos y and again this whole divided by x minus y right so in next step what I'm going to do limit when x tends to y now see this is sine x cos y sine y cos x uh, look this it's something like this now sine a times cos b minus sine b times cos a right and this is the formula of sine a minus b right sine a minus b so see here sine a cos b sine b cos a it means this is the formula of sine a minus b that is x minus y right and whole divided now this cos x and cos y will come down still right and again minus x y times 1 upon cos x times cos y why did I separate because I am getting this in some standard form see cos x upon x equals to 1 so cos x minus 1 divided by cos x minus 1 here x minus 1 is working as a angle right so now cos x when tends to y so, sorry x when, uh, limit when x tends to y so I'm uh, doing something different here see uh, I, I mean to say when x tends to y of course x minus y will tends to 0 right when x tends to y x minus y will tends to 0 so now what I can write this limit limit when x minus y this overall tends to 0 sine x minus y divided by x minus y times 1 upon cos x time cos y right so you know this whole is in the standard form right here cos we can say this this sine x minus y x minus y this this whole is in the standard form see here limit theta tends to 0 sine theta upon theta is equals to 1 right so x minus y is working as a theta or according to this formula sine x minus uh, sorry sine x divided by x when x tends to 0 right so the, it is whole working as x so now I can directly write here 1 right and here again 1 upon cos x and cos y right now 
um, for this you know I'm using the another limit here for this you know uh, actually uh, I change this for only this but here is actually limit when x tends to y only right for this you know according to the angle we have to change our limit so for this limit is when x tends to y right uh, 1 upon cos x times cos y so now when x tends to y this x will be now plugged by y so cos y times cos y so now we will get 1 upon cos square y that is equals to uh, here I'm writing sig square y oh uh, why it's not writing fine it will be equals to sig square y right so like this we have to solve this problem right according to the angle you know we have to change our limit also right so again I'm saying only one word that to evaluate any problems of limit first integral but especially we have to convert it into the standard form again I convert it into the standard form and we may have to do anything for that right we may have to use uh, any kinds of trigonometric identities or trigonometric formula right depending on the situations so uh, in the next video we'll be meeting with a different type of problem again i'm saying right uh, soon bye bye